road and comfortably see the RP mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at all times, we do need to remain seated throughout the entire duration of the safari. These are longer. real animals, and I am actually driving. Yeah, we'll the animals in this rainforest do like to use camouflage to blend in with their surroundings, so be able to look up for animals we'll using their camouflage. Yeah. Yeah. Our first animal is on the right hand side and it's called the Okapi. The Okapi kind of looks like a zebra because of those funky little party pants it's wearing, but it's actually very closely related to the giraffe. But the giraffe and the Okapi both have a prehensile tongue as well as very similar skull structures and all prehensile means is to be used like a finger. <clears throat> Side with that little baby. <laughs> That is the smaller of the two species of rhino that we have here on the reserve. That is the black rhino. He does weigh only about 3,000 pounds. Although they do not have any natural predators, they are heavily poisoned. Like that bright orange antelope all the way on the left hand side, that's called a bongo. Bongos are super shy and reclusive and they're also nicknamed the ghost of the forest and I can tell it's the female because it has that super bright orange coat. And then those brown antelope, those are called greater kudu. They're the cutest animal that likes to hang out over here is the Nile hippo. Hippos do love to spend their time under the water. They can hold their breath for about five to seven minutes at a time. There's a little blade of hippos on the very right hand side. And in order to see who's the most dominant in a bloat of hippos, they're gonna have a contest to see who's the biggest teeth. So they're all just gonna smile at each other and whoever has the biggest teeth wins. I do see some black vultures over here, which are found all over the world, but I also see pink backed pelicans that are only indigenous around the meat feet. Yeah, really. Uh -huh. <laughs> Considering their weight, they are really, really good at moving themselves around. So they can run about 15 miles per hour under the water and then 35 miles per hour on land. Uh -huh. They kind of look like little swimming rocks, 20 feet long, and they are ambush predators. We you have to sit down? Her. Thank you. So they're going to stay super, super still until they see a tree, then they're all going to attack it at once and although they have those super powerful jaws, mama crocodiles are very gentle with their jaws to oftentimes incubate their babies as a part of their self-defense. There's a few reasons as to why there's less trees over here. One is of course water. The second is because elephants love to knock over trees. It's like a little party trick for them. They're not the best neighbors in the world so sometimes you'll just see trees all knocked over. So brave. Meg, give me your sunglasses. Thank you. <laughs> so these guys with the huge horns, they're called Ancoli cattle, and those horns can reach anywhere between seven to eight feet from point to point. They do have a little honeycomb structure on the inside, and that allows them to regulate their body temperature. So they're gonna pump their blood up into those horns and let it circulate back into their body. Those horns are only about 15 pounds. And over here on the left hand side, those are African painted dogs. They have been hyper all day. And each one does have their very own unique coat, and they are some of the best hunters in the savannah with a success rate of 90% whenever they go hunting as a pack. So they are super good at what they do. And the reason they are such good hunters is because they can run for really long periods of time. There's a little confusion of wildebeest over here. She's coming down the hill. So giraffes do only sleep for about half an hour a day and they're super big fans of power naps. So they only sleep for about five to seven minutes at a time and then just continue eating. She likes to eat all day long. And their tongue is about 18 inches long to help them get those sticks and leaves from super high up in the air. But their tongue is also purple and that is just to prevent sunburn. Jump about 6 feet up in the air and 13 feet forward. So they could probably clear my truck if they wanted to. You can see they have that little black stripe under their eye to help reflect the sun. One thing about giraffes is they do everything standing up because whenever they sit down, it makes them very vulnerable. So seeing them get anything off the ground is really. Hey guys, my ooh. Hey. And those 
huge antelope that are over on the left hand side. They're one of the largest species of antelope in the world. They're about six feet tall and they weigh about 2,000 pounds and male eland do this really cute thing during the spring where they'll shake their head in a flower bush to make little flowers. This is the African elephant. And I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is a male just because he's hanging out all by himself. And male African elephants are very solitary animals. They do eat about two to three hundred pounds of food every single day using their trunk that has more muscles in it than we do our whole body. On them, all the water they get goes directly into their trunk. The bob trees are able to hold about 24,000 gallons of water in their trunk at a time, right? Like elephants. So during their migration, finding sustainable water. are coming up on the greater flamingo it doesn't look like it but they are about five feet tall the group of flamingos is called a flamboyance and they get that bright pink color from ingesting brine trip which has keratin in it it does take about two years for flamingos to turn pink though so that's why you'll see baby flamingos have a much darker color to them I want to hug them so bad. Right. Oh. But we're also coming up on Sheeta territory. Yeah. These Sheetas can reach top speeds up to about 60 miles per hour in three seconds, which is about the same as Rock and Roller Coaster. And they do have a little black stripe under their eye, which helps, helps reflect the sun whenever they're running through the bright savanna. Is them the thing? Oh my god, this is so great. Looks like he's talking about something. What's wrong? Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. fluffy little antelope are called water buff. They are usually found in more aquatic environments and you can't really tell the worst because this is their fully grown adult size. And they're all gone. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> they're somewhere. They're hiding so good. 